Hey everyone, this is Anna. I am so excited about today's project. I was invited to do a guest tutorial over at Split Coast Stampers and the theme was spring. So I wanted to do a wedding card and I wanted to have a vintage feel. So I decided to use this amazing, gorgeous stamp set called In Love With Art by Wendy Vecchi and the images are truly amazing they look like the real thing so i was very excited to be able to use it for this card so the first step is to create the background panel for that i will um, use the stencil this is the square gradient mini stencil from tim holtz and i'm using pumice stone distress ink and I'm not quite sure exactly what we'll get into my final background panel. I work in a large area and then after I'm finished, I kind of um, look to see what area I like the best and that's what I will end up trimming. So the next thing I do is use uh, Rangers Emboss It Gray Tinted Ink. And when you're working with embossing ink, you have to work rather quickly since you want it to stay wet uh, for when you put the embossing powder on so here i just do some random stamping um, in my head i'm already thinking that towards the middle i will put my image so i'm kind of leaving a little bit of image um, a, a little bit of space in in between the images after applying the clear embossing powder then i apply heat to melt the powder and I am ready for the next step, which is to add some Distress Ink with a blender. I am using Pumice Stone Ink once again. And I love how as soon as you start putting the ink around the embossed area, the uh, crochet little image starts popping up. So um, it's an amazing image. Like I said, they did a great job with the stamp set. And as you will see, the more color that you add, the more it will pop and the more real that they actually look. And um, I also love how um, a little bit of the powder stuck on the ink from the stenciling. So that is also a little bit raised and you're able to see a lot of the detail coming through when you add the ink. And now that I see the whole piece, I choose the area that I want to keep for my panel and I get my paper trimmer and this will be an A2 size card. So I cut it slightly smaller than the A2 size so I can have a little uh, frame around it. Now I'm using another Distress Ink. This one's called Vintage Photo. And this is just to add um, a little more color and more depth to the images. And um, as you can see, I'm applying it um, towards the edge of each image. And then I will go over the inside of the images as well, just to catch those little um, blank spots in between the little crochet image. And that will help it uh, pop even further. Uh, one thing that you want to do after you are done with uh, the blending of the ink is get either a um, dry baby wipe or a rag and kind of just go over the embossed sections just to uh, clean any excess ink on top of that. And that would help um, your image pop even further. Next, I will stamp um, two of these um, images with the other large stamp in the set. And um, I will make some embellishments out of these images. So the first one I do on the same Nina cardstock and I emboss it. And that's um, the gray tint embossing ink, by the way, with clear embossing powder. After you... Uh, heat emboss then you will add the same two inks as before pumice stone and vintage photo just to allow the image to pop even further 
but don't throw away this paper because we will use it a little bit later for our sentiment. Um, so you are creating the sentiment background as you work on this piece. So that's kind of nice. So the next thing you do is clean your stamp to make sure it doesn't have any of the embossing ink. And then you um, add an archival type of ink. In this case, I'm using Black Licorice by Fun Stampers Journey. And you need that type of ink so it can stay in the vellum paper. This is Nina's vellum paper. And uh, after he said it, I add a little bit of the ink just so it can blend a little bit more with the rest of the project since the ink is black. Then I fussy cut around the image and um, you will also fussy cut around the other image that you created from the um, white cardstock as well. Next, it's time to work on the sentiment and I wanted to do it in Spanish. And this one is by Stampendes and it's called Loving Messages in Spanish. I am using the one that says En Este Día Especial, which means in this special day. I'm stamping with um, black licorice ink once again. And like I told you before, I'm using the same area that I inked previously for the other embellishment. I will uh, tear that paper just to give it a more uh, vintage, grungy look. And um, next, once you have cut the two strands of the other image, you will fold them like a little accordion, like you see here. And on this particular one, uh, you will cut about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. And then uh, you will also add some of the vintage photo on the back and on the edges. So um, you will fold it right back again and make it a little flat. This will be right under the sentiment, so it has to be flat. To help it along, I'm using the mini stapler just to make the little ruffles stay. And I will also add it, the staples directly into the back panel to um, hold the little ruffle section. And then I will put the sentiment right on top of that ruffle section and I will use some glue dots to adhere the sentiment. Next I will mix a little bit of this spray in peel paint with broken china distress ink and uh, spray a little bit of water and this creates a blue green type of color almost like patina and I am adding it um, so in certain random areas on the back panel and on the sentiment, I will also put a little bit on the little accordion that I used earlier and clipped with the um, Tim Holtz uh, hinge clips. And a little later you will see me also adding it to some paper flowers that I will use as an embellishment. And um, I will also use some copper color sequins and actually I found those at the dollar store so um, keep an eye out on those I think it was Dollar Tree so um, I knew they would come in handy at some point so here you see me adding a little bit of ink and of course that uh, same blue green color to the flower and then I'm using Fun Stampers Journey glaze to adhere the copper sequins to the back I will also use the same glaze to adhere the little paper dolls image that you see right in the middle. Um, it's a very strong adhesive, so um, I thought it would do a really good job for this particular project. The uh, paper dolls are pretty thick and heavy, so I needed something that will um, get them set right on the card. So um, the next part is working on the card base which is made out of gray cardstock. I'm inking the edges with pumice stone ink and then right in the middle 
and on the inside I'm stamping the same image with the gray tint embossing powder to give it a more of a watermark look then with some black foam tape I adhere the panel to the card base and that finishes the project I hope you enjoy the tutorial and the project and that you give it a try as you can see it's fairly easy to recreate it the key is in this amazing stamp set that they really look so real especially in person and I thought it would make a very fun card for someone's wedding you can also make it as an anniversary card thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please let me know and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up Thank you all. I hope to see you again soon. Bye now.